Hi, and welcome to Cooking Italian with Lydia. Today we're going to be making mini stuffed sweet peppers with goat cheese. Yay! <laughs> it's actually a really good dish. About 15 years ago, I was at a rummage sale at a library in the Washington, D.C. metro area and found this Italian cookbook. And I was very inspired by it, and I love the pictures, and I think I could have eaten the food on every single one of the pages. Anyways, one of the recipe and the dish that I'm going to make today is inspired by that recipe. I've made some changes according to what I like, such as artichokes are added in, and I'm using mini sweet peppers. And um, anyways, I'll just walk you through the steps, and I hope you enjoy it as much as me. All right, let's get started. Shall we begin? Fresh garlic, artichoke, tomatoes, small sweet peppers and zucchini, goat cheese, white onion, parsley, go ahead and dice the onion about one fourth cup if it's a little minced that's fine, it'll make for better filling. You'll want to chop up the tomato into about a quarter inch pieces. All right, so now we're gonna uh, dice the squash into bite-sized pieces. We're later gonna cook this with the other vegetables and melt them all together. For each of the tiny sweet peppers, we're going to place them lengthwise and then chop them or slice them right down the center because that's what we're going to use to stuff all the ingredients in. So we'll go ahead and chop up the artichoke now, one of my favorite ingredients, and I think it adds a special touch to this dish. First, we'll add the two tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're gonna follow up that with the chopped garlic. I sure like this better than the minced to the dry stuff. It's really good, especially when you bite into a cooked piece. There's the diced onion. We're gonna cook that together till it has an aroma.
add in the squash and we're gonna cook it till it is not firm anymore. Uh, the chopped tomatoes are now added in so all the ingredients are blending together. Now we'll go ahead and fill each of the mini sweet peppers with the um, vegetable mix that we just made on the stove top. Time to add in the goat cheese, which when we do put this in the oven at 400 degrees, it's gonna melt into the sweet pepper with the vegetables and it's gonna be delicious. Sprinkle on the basil and the pepper. 